Hi all, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Let's start reading work using UI path. In today's session, you want to discuss about UI path healing agent. So from this, you may be have a plenty of questions. So what actually is this UI path healing agent? How it going to be fit for my automation process? Or how to utilize this particular UI path healing agent, right? So to answer all your questions, we have come up with a video along with the classification of benefits as well as the limitations. To understand more about what actually the UI path healing agent is and how it can be utilized in your automation process. Let's quickly jump back to our today's session. So let's try to move to the next slide. Let's kick start with core benefits of UI path healing agent. So here we have listed few core benefits, right? So what are they? So let's try to narrow down one by one and try to understand with our real world. So here we have mentioned as a dynamic selector, right? So let's assume if you have a page or if you have an application which has a frequent update, right? So where you have to design changes. Also, if you're going to use your object repository as well, you have to make changes at any particular place, right? So these are things are getting complex when the selectors are keep on changed. So when you're going to use your UI path healing agent, those become very lighter and those become very easy to fix those. So also when you take a live example of anchor base, so let's take an example of uh, RPA challenge. So where the elements will be keep on changing for each and every submits. So you may be see the first name as the first place and sometime will be last place, right? So those things will be keep on change where it will be handled by itself with the help of UI path healing agent. So similar to this, all the benefits have been listed over here. So also if you have some benefits, we do have some limitation as well, right? So similar to that, so we have few other limitation which I just listed over here. Let me go through the important pointers over here. So you have to build your projects only in Windows and Crash platform. Then only you can able to utilize your UI path healing agent. Let's assume if you have built your previous project in a Windows legacy, you cannot able to adapt this particular feature in your project. And next thing, you have to build your automation in a modern activity level. So let's assume you have built some projects in a old classic level. You cannot able to use this UI path healing agent. So as well as you have to make sure few more things as a recommendation where your UI path robot version should be 24.10 or later version as well as your UI automation package should be 24.10.12.5 or else you should be a greater version. And next to that, you don't need to pay any licensing amount to all this particular feature. So this particular feature will be built cost in your enterprise license itself. Okay, so you don't need to pay anything more to utilize this particular feature. So these are some core benefits and limitation which is in the UI path healing agent. I hope from this you maybe have a good idea so on which particular project this particular healing agent will work and what are the recommended package you have to install in your particular project, right? So let's quickly jump back to the demo. Let me go to the browser page. So this is our demo page, okay? So where you're gonna the username and password and click on sign in. So here I just gonna change some selectors and you're gonna indicate here, okay? So let me try to inspect this. And then, so let me try to inspect this password. So what I'll do, I'll just change this as a pass. And then I'll just change the name as well as pass. Perfect. And then I'll just close this now. Awesome. So what I'll do here, I just created my brand new project now. So I'll just drag and drop with the activity quickly. So let me, so user open application and then let me try to indicate this in your application level okay and try to indicate the application now perfect so and then what actually you're gonna do so you're gonna type the username and password right so just try to drag and drop your type into activity perfect just try to try one more thing and then finally you're gonna click on login right so let me try to drag and drop the click activity as well. Perfect. So the thing which you have to observe over here, so I just currently used all these things for a modern activity. Okay, I didn't use any of classic activity. Also, you should see my UI path studio version is 24.10.1. So here, let me go to the next step. So let me try to indicate the fields now. Okay. So let me just try to click over here. Try to indicate this one. Captured fuzzy selector, computer vision, so everything looks fine. Click on confirm. Perfect. And then let me indicate the password now. 
so let me try to indicate this now so here it is captured same as fuzzy selector also computer vision selector so but here you have to understand so we just tweaked our attribute value as we seen before so what actually we are going to do here just uncheck this fuzzy selector and computer vision which makes it available all the time okay let's try to give some more healing agent okay no so what actually we're going to do now so let's check this street selector so where it has a rank attribute value right so let's try to confirm this now so during our execution it should fail because it does not have any id which is nothing but pass right so let's try to indicate the sign in now awesome let's capture all the selectors let it be confirmed so perfect till now what actually we have done so we just used all the modern activities to open the browser type into username password and sign in so here we have to understand we just tweak the elements of a particular attributes which is id as well as the name from the password to pass okay so let's try to enter the actual value here so let me just try to copy this and to try to paste this here let me type my password check it let me just remove this double quotes looks perfect now so and then sign in right perfect so let me try to run this automation it should not work since we have changed the particular element right so what actually we'll do we'll just close this and then so we'll just save this and try to run this now let's see how it works so let's start compiling everything so it will be started running now let us launch the particular site and trying to enter the password now so since we have tweaked the attribute of password so it is trying to find the element so it should be fine since you are going to run this in alternate mode let's see so our process got failed now right perfect so even it's also given a possible solution as well cool let's click on ok now so what actually you want to do now so let me save this and let me publish this process to a orchestrator folder where it is already created which is healing agent okay so what i will do i'll just click on publish tenant level publish so after it get published what i going to do here i just going to add this particular process so some ppt is get open so let me try to close this so let me try to publish one once again our process got published now so let me click on okay let me go here let me check for healing agent perfect so this is the exact version click on next next and then try to enable this so this is our healing agent feature okay so if you're going to enable this so it's going to provide only the suggestion if you're going to enable this then it will going to heal your process so automatically it detects and it will be healed that during the run of the your job okay so let me try to enable this before let me try to give your name display name you way back let me try to give this perfect click on create close perfect so what i will do now so i'll just try to run this using my orchestrator level so now let's see the changes since we enable this healing agent now so it should heal the process during the run time and then it should run perfectly as expected okay so let's try to click on this start job and then looks perfect Perfect. So the mission done. 
let me try to run this now perfect so let's see how it works so it should understand the particular password attributes and then it should heal that and it should start entering the right username and password and should log in now so it's gonna launch the page in some times so let's wait for that so it has launched the UA bank site now let's enter the username and it's trying to recognize the password attribute so now you can see it has entered the password and then clicked on sign in perfect right so now when you see over here the job has been started and ended now and it is success awesome right so once I clicked on this particular I symbol which is detail you can see here one heal which is nothing but it has been healed during the runtime of the job itself let's try to understand what actually it has been done over here so you can see autopilot preview so here this particular download which help to understand what are the healing step has been attached during the execution of the process also if you want to see in a detailed view here itself what are the activity had the issue so let me just click on this so here you can see could not find the user interface UI element action right and here you can understand so where it has been error has been occurred so here the password it was able to capture where it has been issue has been occurred over here as well that's look awesome also it has given the selector as well so you can see initially the origin selector was ID pass what was recommended is ID password even it has given the recommendation as well so along with that as a cool feature he has XAML as well so you can able to open in a studio so meanwhile let's try to understand the lag as well so let's try to click over here and then new job logs so here you can see the healing engine process has been started so it was not able to identify the selector healing agent start recovery analysis and it has find the alternate target and successfully recovered the activity and the process got ended that's cool right so here you can easily understand what actually the kind of changes need to be taken care of there and it was healed the particular process during the runtime of the job and then it got healed everything so in this way you can able to quickly fix your uh, particular process which is facing the selector issues also if say facing some anchor base all kind of stuffs this will be a permanent solution so in this way you no need to stop your process for any bug fixes or anything if you're going to enable your healing agent your process is going to run without any issues or any bugs so in this way you can make your process seamless run you can improve your productivity stuffs all these things can be done with help of your healing agent i hope this particular demo will help you to understand the technical standpoint as well as the theoretical standpoint so what are the things has been recommended and where the UI path healing agent will not work so how to utilize this UI path healing agent so I hope uh, this session make you to understand the entire holistic picture of a healing agent thanks for watching happy learning have a good day